This answer is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your Shopify questions or tasks on demand. Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to add a top bar or an announcement bar to your Shopify. Now sometimes your theme might already include the options you have an announcement bar. I'm going to show you, I'm using the... Um, I am using the Brooklyn theme. And as you can see right here, this bar right here, this is already integrated into my theme. So you can go ahead and check, and I'm going to show you where you can get to this and edit this. Um, you can check your own uh, theme to see if you already have the option. If you don't, I'm going to include in the comment section a couple of uh, apps that you could use in order to uh, accomplish this feature. And I have one app installed already, and it's called Yeps. It's an app by Yeps, and pretty much it's a really cool plugin. You just have to sign up, and you can get this this app. It's right through the Shopify App Store, and you can add a bunch of different announcement bars uh, to your top bar. Now, if you go to, let's see, if I go, this is kind of what the dashboard looks like for the uh, for the Yeps. And pretty much what you do is you can create different campaigns. You can um, add a form. You can add... Um, uh, promote a sale or a link. Um, you can add a social buttons bar, a, a countdown typer, uh, timer, add an EU cookie bar. And this is the one I recently created, um, a shipping to text. So if you click add new campaign, you can click one of these uh, depending on what you want. If you wanted some, something that just said, um, you know, free shipping over $50 like I had, you would just do the announcement bar. Now, if you want to, as you can see right up here, you can do an email list. You can promote a link if you're doing a sale and it's all customized right here. You also can do your uh, social icons. You can do a timer. Say if you have a flash sale, you can let people know how long it's going to be lasting. Um, and then again, you can even do shipping via a uh, geo-based message. So pretty, pretty much it would be free shipping to whatever country uh, that you had. Um, so, and if you look down here, if I do the announcement bar, it says really important information, got it. Um, and then you can change the colors right here. Um, you can change the font color right here. You can change the placement if you want on the bottom or the top. Uh, you can change what kind of position it is. So fix would be, it would be stuck to the top. You can also change it to static or hybrid. And you can say, try push the page down. That's way um, your content's not hidden underneath the bar. Um, and then you can also add a close icon like so. Uh, this is kind of a, a UI a UX type of thing right there. Uh, so people can have the option to close the bar if they want to. Um, and then you can also choose when to, when to show it. So say you wanted to show it, uh, you know, someone lands on your page, you want to show it, you know, 10 seconds after they land on your page. So you can just select that. And then as soon as you're done uh, kind of customizing it, um, how you want to, uh, you can click enable campaign and you can click save and you'll be good to go and it will show in your Shopify. Um, you can also, you know, integrate different things. See, they're enabling um, MailChimp um, to be integrated with the app already. Uh, that's coming soon. You can also add your um, emails uh, and then you can also buy the pro version of this, which is $20 a month. Pretty much it's um, all features. And then um, it, the only difference between the pro and the free version is the white label widget. So there's no logo in the corner if that kind of bugs you. Um, so if I go back here, I can kind of show you um, if this little icon right here kind of bugs you, you can pay $20 a month to remove it. Uh, in my opinion, it doesn't really bug me, so I've just left it. Uh, but yeah, so that's the Yeps uh, plugin or app that you can use for Shopify to put on an announcement bar. I can also show you in my, um, so like I said, I'm using the Brooklyn theme. And if I go to customize and I go to the header section, if I scroll down, I can see that I have announcement bar right here. So I can choose to hide this or show it. I can also decide if it's only on the home page or not. And then you would, I would just add some cool text here. And then you can also add a link or a search um, to whatever collection or page that you want to do it. 
four and you can also change the bar color and the text color so that's kind of cool you won't even need an app to accomplish this same feature obviously this has a little bit of um some different features like you can add a button etc you can customize this announce bar by editing your theme files if you want to get kind of your hands dirty into the the theme code um if you don't want to end up using an app uh there is another app it is called hello bar this will allow you to do even full page um, type of announcements. It'd be kind of a like almost like a landing page that you can do, um, which is really cool. So uh, it's called Hello Bar. You just have to sign up for a free account. I believe it is free. And then they also, again, have a uh, free version, free tool. Yeah, so free tool. Um, Let's see and then they have all these other options i believe it i believe it should be free i might have been it was free when i first uh got it um i believe you can still download it if not uh this is kind of the price um starter yeah starter free forever right here so that uh, you know five thousand views uh, 10 pop-ups minimum um this is you know pretty good for for most basic websites um, and it kind of does the same functionality as the announcement part, but like I said, you can kind of do, you know, really, you know, full screen announcements, et cetera. Or if you wanted to get, you know, kind of the different plans that they have, they have that option as well. So there's a few options for you. Like I said, make sure you check your theme out to see if the announcement bar is already um, integrated into your theme. Uh, that way you don't need to even use an app. Or, like I said, I will include uh, both of these links in the comment section so you can kind of check them out for yourself and see what you like the best to show announcement bars in your Shopify. I hope that helps you guys and have a great day. Was this helpful? Ask a Shopify question now. AskQuesty.com.